I would go in and it was acting as as uh, you've heard quite a bit today. I mean, it was really all about creating a character, using your imagination, which is one of the wonderful, uh, I think, um, advantages to voice acting over regular acting in that there's there's a lack of self-consciousness uh, that um, you, can, you can really grab onto in a studio, in a dark studio with a microphone, and it's your imagination that's speaking. Um, and I, I've really... Um, I, you know, I really enjoyed that aspect. I would go in and, and read lines. Um, usually we would go until both the engineer and I were laughing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's kind of why I tended to get hired because I'm a goofy kind of guy and I was willing to go there. I, I, I made an allusion to it, but my first um, acting job was for a commercial on uh, voice acting job. Uh, it was for um, a cartoon called Daria on MTV. And um, I phoned in my audition, and I was literally in a bathrobe because I almost missed my audition. I totally forgot the time and everything, and I run in, I'm half naked, and I'm, I'm staying there, and I just, I'm looking at myself in my living room mirror, uh, you know, half-dressed, on the phone, just thinking of how ludicrous this was, and it, it loosened me up. I was in the, that's one of the great things about a home studio as well. It's the same effect. I was safe. I was in my own environment, and I just let her rip, uh, not... Audition wise, um, and uh, and I got the job, and um, you know, and, and, and like Rodney said, it, you know, I, I got in there and I was hired to do one character, the Dara's mother's boss, and he was kind of a lech and was always, you know, being, you know, inappropriate in the in the workplace, which was a lot of fun to do, and. Um, I got in there, and, and because I, I developed this relationship, a working relationship where, you know, hey, this guy's willing to try anything, they started throwing characters at me. Next thing I'm doing, the deputy and all these other different wild characters and kind of touch on the union thing. That was about the time that I got offered, um, or actually I was forced to join the union. You, you get to option it for a period of time. Uh, the technical side of going in to do um, voiceovers for a show that you're hosting, for example, uh, you're given, it, it's mostly a time requirement. Um, there's an actual formula, and I can't, it, it's, it's eluding me right now, but there's a certain um, number of seconds per word. So when somebody is writing, a good producer or director who's writing the copy will know that if they've got a space uh, to fill in the show, they've got five seconds, um, that they, they can only use a certain number of words. And the, you could always tell, as, a, as somebody who's worked with, we did 300 episodes of While You're Out, for example, 300 you know, episodes where I had to do an hour's worth of voiceover narration. Um, you learn very quickly which directors were very, good at sort of dialing that in. Um, however, I didn't always have the option to change the copy, um, which would have been a great option. So you have to learn to make it work. And so the technical side of it mainly came with the, um, the experience and the practice. And, and that was being in the studio time and time again. And I got to the point, and David can, can testify, I mean, we'd go through an hour's worth of voiceover um, and we'd knock it out in about 20 minutes because I'd be dialed into that, you know, he's like, you got 3.2 seconds and I'd hit it at 3.1 and he's like, all right, one more time, you got to add a 0 0.1. Well, my brain auto, auto, automatically knew what 0 0.1 seconds sound, sounded like and where I needed to, to get that and still get the inflection. Um, and then that became a variable, very enjoyable aspect of it to me because it was a sense of accomplishment. I could go in and deliver this great, you know, you know, 20, 20 minutes of just solid, you know, and hit it out of the park um, because, you know, I had mastered the art of the, uh, the technique. So uh, they're two different beasts altogether, um, both of them tremendous fun from, from uh, different perspectives.